Hello, my comfy chair friends. How's it going? Happy Friday. Linnea here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. I'm sitting outside. It is hot. Oh my gosh, is it hot. But Jerry's home early. So he was actually home when I got home from doing the errands and doing a little bit of shopping at our local thrift shop. I know it's a Target bag, but it's from the thrift shop. Um, I just want to make sure that this is counting up. Yes, it is. Okay. And I do have a new welcome. And I forgot her name and I did not bring it out with me. I am so sorry. Welcome to all my new comfy chair friends. And thank you to those of you who've been with me and are sticking with me. So let's go to this. So I got three pairs of jeans. No matter what the jeans are, they're $3 at our little local rip shop here. So. I'm finally in style with some distressed jeans. Cute, huh? They're for riding the bike, mostly. So now I've got five bike riding jeans. So nine bucks for three jeans, three pairs of jeans. One of them still, oh, it's that one down there. And this, this one is the silver jeans. I'm not sure what brand. I guess that is a brand, silver jeans. Oh, they're made in Canada. Huh. Product of Canada. Aren't they cute? And check these pockets out. Can you see those? Yeah, you can, kind of. I had to move my tablet from where I had it. I'll have to, I think I'll have my sister uh, hem these for me uh, because they're way too long. But these are brand spanking new. They still have the tags on them. And these were $19.95. I paid three bucks for them. And they're super stretch. I think, are they old maybes? I picked up one. Oh no, these are H&M brand. Nice. So there's these. Cute. I mean, they're just plain, but I can always put embroidery or cross stitch or something on the back pockets. But you cannot beat three dollars a pair for jeans at all at all that's where i got a couple of other pairs too and then i got aunt lydia's classic crochet cotton 100 percent mercerized cotton it is a size 10 which i use for um and it was a dollar i use that for my lifelines in my knitting and then i got these two, well actually there's three three for buck and I'm not sure, I think that's a size, this one's a size 20, I think. It looks like it is anyway. The other two don't have their labels. I think they were used, yeah, this is a size 20. But still, it's great for my lifelines. And I thought I might actually make something with these two in the combo. Aren't they pretty? I love them. And there's a doily pattern in one of my crochet, Crochet World magazines. That would be great using these two colors. So those are going to be used, used, but they don't count as buying yarn because they're thread. <laughs> See how I justified that? Yeah. Kind of like buying kits doesn't count either because they're kits. All right, and then I got this uh, for tassel making. I thought this would be great in like an Art Deco 1920s style. You can't really see that. It's a really deep, rich, um, orangey red. It's so pretty. She gave me that because there was no price tag on it. So that was a nice freebie. And then I got um, hand cream, J.R. Watkins Shea Butter, and it smells so good. It might have been used once. 50 cents. But Watkins has good products. And then... My favorite Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom Body Splash, but it's a spray, 50 cents. I think she gave it to me for 25 though. And then I got these for macrame. They're they're yellow actually. Oh, there, there you can see it better. 50 cents each. And I can use those for macrame hanger, hanging macrame wall hangings. There we go. And then I've been trying to figure out what to do with my DPNs. This is brand new. I didn't even open it up there at the store. I saw the price of three bucks and I was like, oh yeah. You can hang it or you can fold it. Mine will be hung in the closet. Oops. 
And it's for double pointed needles, which I didn't need in that solution. Let's see if I can get this undone somewhat quickly. So you can see it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, look at this, you guys. Zero through 15. That's awesome. And it's brand spanking new. I'm sure it would be at least $20, if not more than that. So that's fabulous. And then, this isn't so exciting, but it was to me to find it a, a dollar for this. I need a new monthly bill solution. And here it is. And nothing to catch on where I put it underneath my side of the kitchen table. So, yeah. Awesome. This is kind of like those camping, camping place mats, those vinyl-y ones, you know. But it is blue. I mean, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. So, other than the price of a buck, so that's what I got. Um, I did a bunch of errands today. I did sleep in today. That's why my video is finally being made now. And um, I know what we're doing this weekend. I'm. Oh, I do have news on the test knit scarf. I got five repeats done yesterday. I'll go in and grab it a minute real quick when I pause this. But um, I got got five repeats done and I discovered that I'm not going to have enough yarn so I asked the designer Sarah Dawn if I could make it into a cowl and she said absolutely that's fine so I'm excited about that I'll be right back and I'll show it to you just a minute I am so glad that Peyton showed me how to pause videos it's amazing. so this is what I have left of the first skein so I don't even think it's going to do another, oh no, it won't even do another full repeat. It might, I might be lucky to get three, maybe four rows out of it, but this is so beautiful. I love it. Can you see that? I hope you can see it. And of course I will block it too, but I just absolutely love this. That's my cable needle there. I was going to do it without a cable needle, but then I just, I didn't know I wasn't going to get that adventurous on it. I'm not real thrilled with the, the, oh, I guess the fabric isn't as bad as what I thought with the size 10 and a half, but I probably should have gone up to 11. I would be liking the, the density of the fabric better. It'd be a little more drapey, but eh, it's okay. It's going to be a cowl, so it's not a big deal. All right, so there's that. Um... After this, I have a quick test knit, and that's super fast. I'm watching a hornet right now, a yellow jacket. It needs to go away. Um, and I will catch you all up on my Scorched Earth Challenge. I haven't caught you up on that for a while. Oh, and one thing I want to say, too, is that... Um, Remember, we've got the kit along going on. So far, two people have been quite active in it. We have one knitting project completed, and it's gorgeous. So knitters, come on, get your game on. We've only got till the 12th of next month. So basically, you've got 13 days till the event is over with. Then we're going to have another event after that but we're going to wait to start that event until after the winners have been chosen for this kit along. Okay, and um, I will tell you a little bit about it. It's like what we had last year that I had September through October. This year it's going to go through halfway through August through the end of September, okay? Not quite two months. It'll be like six weeks, okay? So that'll be fun. And it's a make-along. Um, which is a free-for-all. Whatever type of craft you want to put in it is great. I'm not sure about the classifications yet and how we're going to do it. I, I don't know. Or if there will even be prizes. There probably will be. I think there was last year. I think there was. I don't know. I haven't got all the ins and outs worked out, but that's coming up. 
Anyway, I've got to get with you on the scorched earth. I know there's two more go exchange going out to the two winners yesterday, and that is um, Mr. And Mrs. Queen something and Joshua and Doris Artman, which is Doris. And then, um, but I have to figure out the rest of the stuff. So I know I was at 40 something last time, but I've got to sit down and figure it out. Anyways, I think we're going for a ride tomorrow. And, um, but I will definitely be back on Monday. So you all have a great weekend. Remember to be kind. I hope you're all blessed. Know that I love each and every single one of you. Ciao for now. Mwah. Mwah.